Hey guys, how's it going? So this was shot on April 6th of 2018. Now this is my chest and this is my chest and shoulder workout. So it's a little bit of shoulders, more emphasized on the chest. So I did about three to five chest movements when I'm emphasizing my chest or focusing on my chest. Now when I'm doing shoulders, I'm adding a little bit of shoulders, maybe just two to three. So shoulder press, front raises. But we're going to be focusing here on the upper chest. So you can see here I'm going for a couple higher reps. I'm sticking to around 10 to 15 reps for three sets. Afterwards, you'll see I put my hands down like I'm going to be doing push-ups. Uh, Rod didn't get this one, but I'm also working out here with Rod. So you can see here Rod's going a bit heavier. Um, I did go down in strength, but this is a normal process in the cutting phase. Um, you're not going to be 100%, but there is a way to maintain that strength. But ideally... Um, it's normal to lose a little bit of strength in the process now So we're doing some incline dumbbell press We're going for three sets of 10 to 15 with a drop set of push-ups after every single set Now it's gonna emphasize that upper chest a lot and get that blood flowing into the muscle early on and Since we are starting with the upper chest it allows us to focus more on that muscle and have a little bit more energy to push a little bit more weight for that Next exercise is the seated hammer strength press for the mid portion of the chest. So first we're going to be targeting the upper chest, then the mid chest, then the lower chest. So you can see here I'm going light. I'm more emphasizing on this exercise on the squeeze at the top. Um, this doesn't give you the best range of motion. I notice it doesn't go as far back as I would like. Um, so I can feel more of that stretch, although it does allow me to squeeze at the top. You can see here. Uh, Raj focus a little bit more on the squeeze, but he's about I think during this time about 14 to 12 weeks out So he's got time. Um, I'm still about at this time six weeks out um, but When this video was recorded, so still got to lean out But it's a slow process losing about one to two pounds a week So you can see here we are now doing some dips so the focus here is to <laughs> not go too far down where you're feeling too much stress on the shoulder, but also you don't want to go not high enough where you're not targeting the chest, but you also want to be angled. Now, if you're not angled, that's more triceps. If you're an angled, meaning more forward, your torso is more forward. It's going to allow you to target the chest a bit further. Um, here, Rod had to do a little variation, but ideally I wanted to target the upper chest. So we did upper, mid, lower. Now we're going back to upper, doing a little finish with the upper chest, and then we're going to go a bit for the mid and lower chest in a sec here. But you can see here, uh, because Rod's shoulder, we had to do a little variation. But let's see. So you can just see another angle here. I am feeling out pretty well. I, I, I think uh, taking this prep a little bit early on, then my last preps have allowed me to maintain and hold on to a lot more muscle than usual. Um, this angle kind of makes my shoulders look small, but that was uh, one of the areas I wanted to emphasize in the bulking phase. Um, I didn't talk too much about my bulking phase, which will be talked about later on. Um, not in this video, but in later videos. But you can see the cuts are coming in, the striations are coming in. So we're just finishing here with the upper chest going across diagonally, kind of like a X if you think about it. So you can place your hand on the upper chest to make sure you feel it a bit more, but I kind of got the the uh, portion of feeling the chest and now it's more about that stretch. And to finish the chest, we did some cable flies. We went for, I believe it was 10 to 12 for the lower portion. Um, Rod should go a little further back so he gets a bit more of a stretch, but I do know um, we don't want to be messing up his shoulder too much because he does have I think it was the left side, the shoulders a little bit um, off, but uh, so you can see here we're doing 10 to 12 for the lower, and then we're targeting the mid portion, about 10 to 12, uh, Rod's going first here, you're crossing over, which will allow you to get more of a squeeze in those pectorals. <laughs> so you can see here, targeting the lower portion of the chest, even myself, I should be going a little bit further back to feel more of a stretch. But I'm really focused on getting that squeeze and that muscle contraction because when you're on stage, you're going to be flexing, right? You're going to be squeezing your muscle. Um, so you have to get that full range of motion. So ideally, I should be bringing it a little bit further back to get more of that stretch, but still targeting the mid and lower chest. You can see a bit of the striations coming in the lines, um, but definitely not where I want to be just yet because guys, come show day, it's going to be another story. Anyways, we are on shoulders now, so we're just doing some front raises, 
Um, we're going for a set of 20, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was 15 to 20. Uh, I will start with my less dominant, and then go to the dominant side, finish with the less dominant. Now, if you want to enhance one side over the other, it's better to stick with dumbbells, so you're using one side during the exercise at all times. Uh, for instance, things like chest press, shoulder press, dumbbell press. Um, but if you just want to focus on strength and building mass, and, you know, these are great exercises as well, but things like bench press, uh, shoulder press with a barbell, not a dumbbell, or uh, not dumbbells, but you can see here Rod had to do a little variation as well, but he's still targeting a bit of that upper, the uh, not upper chest, sorry, the front of the delt and the side most, he's emphasizing most, most of the uh, lateral head, so the side of the shoulder. Um, but the last movement here, we did some triceps. I did not record the second tricep movement, but we did rope. Tricep pushdowns, you can see here, so I'm just going to be putting a weight. We did three sets with a drop set for each set. Oh, for sorry, for the other set, other exercises as well, we also did three sets. Usually stick to around three sets, uh, sometimes at a fourth one, depending on the exercise. But here we did three sets with three drop sets, dropping it down about um, two plates down. So let's say it's 42, drop it down to about 30, 35. And we'd be going for about... 10 to 15 for the first one and then go for about 8 to 12 for the next one so you can see here I'm going a little bit forward just to get a little bit more of a squeeze in the triceps um, but we did do single arm tricep extensions as well just to finish the triceps and a bit of abs that I did not record which I'll explain a little bit more about abs later on in another video but here's a little bit of progression my posing routine a bit um, you guys let me know what you think in the comments below, how I'm looking, I guess, compared to before. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll let you guys watch the last little bit here. Okay, guys, that was a solid workout. It was a little commentary or a little edit. I'm not sure what I did for the workout there. But here with the one and only Rock and Shurs. Boom! Oh, guys. How's it been? Long not time. Bad. Long time. Long Just time. making some gains. All kinds of gains. You guys saw his physique is looking insane. Those arms, shoulders, the waist to shoulder, shoulder ratio? Waist yeah, to waist shoulder to shoulder ratio is looking insane. This guy is what, 13, 13 weeks out? 13 weeks out, Van Pro Amateur. It's gonna be a big show, guys. We're gonna document it all. You guys are gonna be along with the journey, and it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be crazy. Or a, or a rude awakening. <laughs> oh. oh, but nah. you'll enjoy it. Like, it's gonna be awesome. Like, Rod, we're, we're shooting for pro cards guys this is not this is not just you know for fun and all that not, like it's fun but trust me we're going for that pro card i'm going for Definitely. the elite he's going for the pro league it's gonna be insane i'm gonna see this guy one day on the olympia stage i'll be there to document Hopefully. that for him let's get it guys thanks for all the support guys it. hope you enjoyed it here with rod more videos to come i want you all to get aesthetic drops